Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Um, before I start, I kind of just feel like I want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who has shown me so much love and support here on YouTube. Like my journey has been a long one, but I have been loving every minute of it. The growth on this channel has been incredible and we are so close to 50k which is definitely my um short-term goal and 100k for this year is my long-term goal so thank you so much for those who have subscribed who have commented shared and liked um trust me it doesn't go unnoticed i appreciate it so much but let me let me get back into this video today is going to be a fragrance haul yes honey i did it again and um this one this this might be my most expensive fragrance haul. I'm not going to lie. It was it was definitely a time where I just went off. So I'm going to go ahead and start off this haul with a fragrance that I've already mentioned on my channel, but I didn't officially, you know, include it in a haul. And this is Inisio Side Effect. Now, I did go ahead and end up getting two from Inisio. Side Effect was the first one that I got simply because the notes just spoke to me. Oh my God, the presentation. Let's just quickly look at this. Oh, honey, like this is a beautiful bottle that is quite dirty now, but it's very beautiful. It has this like very um, satiny texture to it. And on top you have like a 3D of the logo and the name of the brand. Inisio is a French house. And when I went on their website, their fragrances are all about evoking this sexy, alluring, seductive, Productive nature in everyone and honey I am all about that side effect is one that um, did gain a lot of popularity I'm probably late to the game but hey we do what we get to do and here is how that bottle comes there is a little card back here but I'm not going to get too specific in all the details because this is not a review video. If you guys want to see a review on the house of Inisu, definitely let me know. This to me is niche. Like you're paying for the juice, but you're also paying for that wonderful presentation. I want to experience this fragrance from the moment I open up the box. So the notes listed online aren't really a ton of notes. It's very simplified, but I do know that a lot of fragrance house nows are making it very simplified for users or customers to really understand the vibe of the fragrance. In this one, I believe there's vanilla, there's tobacco, cinnamon, and rum. Um, and those just really, really intrigued me now. Oh my God, it is just sexy. Honey, this fragrance is everything to me. It definitely reminds me of Killian's Angel Share, but I wanna say the rum in here is totally different from the cognac in Angel Share. Um, it's a little bit more refined, it's sweeter also, and the vanilla in here is so gorgeous. Just little, It literally smells like a real vanilla pod in here. The tobacco is very wearable. It's not too abrasive in my opinion, and it doesn't lean too masculine. I actually think this leans quite feminine because there is quite a bit of sweetness in this fragrance and I love wearing this. Um, quality and performance is definitely 10 out of 10 for me. It lasts forever on the skin and on my clothes. And I just love this one. And then the second one that I got from Inisu is high frequency and it does come kind of in the same uh, box and packaging and everything like that. They are part of the same collection. I believe they have maybe two or three different collections within the house. Um, high frequency is another stunning one. And when you look up the notes, it's very minimal. Like I just looked it up online. There's Hedion, Almond, and Magnolia um, listed on Fragrantica. But to me, this is definitely a very white floral type of fragrance with a little bit of nuttiness, but there's so much more to this fragrance than what I am seeing online. I'm actually gonna spray this on my skin. Oh my God, it's stunning. Mm, you have to like that bitter touch in your fragrances because the almond in here is a bitter almond and you definitely will pick that up right away when you spray this fragrance. But the bitterness in here gives it a very unique 
touch to this fragrance. It's not just traditional white floral. Um, I definitely get uh, the elements of white floral in this fragrance. It doesn't become too powdery on me, but just slightly. Like the powderiness in here is more of like a silky powder rather than it becoming a little too vintagey. Um, oh, it's lovely. It's just lovely. It's a little bit more mature, not as sexy as side effect and definitely not sweet as side effect. This to me carries a little bit more maturity, a little bit more elegance. It's definitely a fragrance that I would wear to an event. I want to capture a little bit more of this ladylike essence. This is what I would go for, but there's still this very alluring nature to this fragrance and oh, Oh, it's beautiful. So next up, I have one from Diptyque, and this is Tam Dao. And here is that beautiful bottle. I really like the artistic nature of Diptyque as a fragrance house, and also their bottle and this their spin on their fragrances. Um, Tam Dao was definitely a kind of like blind buy. It was at a great price. I did not get this from the store itself. It was at a great price, so I couldn't like pass up on it. And I definitely want to add more deep tea, deep tea fragrances within my collection because I, I'm really enjoying just the entire philosophy behind the brand. This is not for everyone, okay? I'm gonna say that right away. It's not for everyone. It's not a safe blind buy. It is definitely leaning towards the masculine side. Um, even when I look up the notes, there are no, there aren't any notes in here that really kind of mesmerize me aside, aside from spices and amber <laughs> and maybe a little of the white musk, but everything else was just kind of like, eh. but I mean, like I said, it was a great price. Um, this is a very woody cigar like fragrance like this to me smells like a man just walked out of a cigar house and maybe was having a couple of whiskeys. That's what it smells like to me. I'm not going to lie. Um, I probably would never wear this alone. But, okay, here's the big but. I did layer this with Kaoli Vanilla 28 and a beauty, okay? It just added this smokiness, this like deep element uh, and woody element to Kaoli Vanilla and they really paired nicely. Now, I definitely went less with this one and more with the Kaoli fragrance but this is probably a scent that I will be layering with my very sweet scents to add a little bit more depth and a little bit more character, a little of that smoky cigar-like element um, because this definitely to me has more of like a tobacco essence to it. Even though when I look up the notes, there isn't a mention of tobacco. I do see cedar, sandalwood, and Brazilian rosewood. Maybe a combination of that gives you this tobacco vibe, but for me, I definitely get a tobacco vibe. So if you're a man, I would 100% recommend this because it does smell quite manly. And if you love the scent of woodiness and cigar-like, this is probably a scent for you. But for my ladies, not a safe blind buy. Next up, we have a fragrance from the house of Mugler, and I am just gonna flat out say that this was a complete fail. It was a blind buy, and I was really intrigued by this um, collection from Mugler and the bottle and everything. And when I looked up the notes, they seemed really interesting. Like we have bourbon pepper, we have bourbon uh, Bulgarian rose, nutmeg we got a little bit of oud in here we got cedar in here but unfortunately honey bunny <laughs> this didn't work on my skin at all so it's not going to remain in my collection but i just wanted to let you know what i thought of it so i really like the bottle it's definitely different because i mean it's mugler you're expecting to get something totally different as for the actual scent, I'm not even going to say the name. I'm just going to show you guys right here because I will probably completely butcher that name. <laughs> um, what I'm finding uh, about myself is that I cannot do heavy ouds. Like heavy animalic ouds just turn extremely dirty on me. Like they come off very, very barnyard-like. And unfortunately, the oud in here 
did the same. I'm not gonna spray it on my skin, I'm gonna spray it in the box. It just smells very like barnyardy, a little bit like pee on my skin. It really did not work out for me at all. Um, it has this like very sharp greenness to it also, like almost like grass, which I'm assuming is coming from the patchouli in here also. Um, it's just a no, it's, it's a no for me dog. <laughs> It didn't work out at all and I'm not gonna spend much time talking about it. It really just didn't work out. If you cannot handle heavy ouds, like animalic ouds, um, heavy doses of patchouli that are more of like a dirty patchouli, don't, d just, you know, try and sample it at least. But if you love that, you will probably enjoy this one. On me, unfortunately, it is a it's a no, honey. So for the next one, I am eating my words up because I said that I was not going to get it. And um, I found it at a really amazing price and I just could not resist. So I did end up getting Tom Ford's Black Orchid Parfum. This bottle is just, it's over the top and I absolutely love it. Like this is just amazing. Honestly, this gold, shiny, metallic in your face is just everything to me um black orchid la perfume um i wasn't gonna get it i did sample it slightly at sephora just before the lockdown which lockdown i mean just before the lockdown after christmas i want to say or just before christmas actually um but i only sampled it on a piece of tissue. That's where the sales associate sprayed it because they weren't allowed to spray it on the skin. And um, from what I, I got from that back then was that this was extremely um, strong. Like it was so, so strong that it almost took off the entire Sephora. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but then I came across this on a website and I was like, mm, okay let me let me let me give it a try i mean the price is right so this one has still the truffle note which a lot of people find obnoxious with the original black orchid um i have been playing around with it and i definitely see the differences between the two yes i still think this is quite strong but somehow it's more wearable than the original one because it comes off um, sweeter on my skin. And a lot of people say that, and I definitely agree with them. It comes off a lot more sweeter. It's still quite obnoxious. It's still very loud and not a crowd pleaser, but it's a little bit more wearable. It is less on that truffle note. The truffle note is there, but I feel like it's kind of balanced out with the other notes. Like I know there is truffle, plum, ylang ylang, there's rum, um, black orchid and patchouli. Um, and I don't know what is in here that sweetened it up. I'm assuming the rum, uh, but it's definitely a lot sweeter. And I'm kind of glad that I definitely decided to get this and add it to my collection because I, I see the slight difference now. Other people probably won't see like a humongous difference, especially when they dry down, but I see the difference. I find this one a little sweeter. Do you need both? Honestly, I don't think so, <laughs> but I love them both, but you do not need both. If you found uh, the original Black Orchid a little too obnoxious, that truffle note was just too in your face, try out the Parfum version because I do find, even though it's still very loud, it is a little sweeter and a little bit more wearable in a weird way. But yeah, this one is in my collection now. Well, I just now realized that I had um, mascara flakes all over my eye. Let's just ignore that and continue with the video. Um, next up, I have a fragrance from Killian. And I couldn't pass on this offer either. So I kind of did this completely blind. And um, do I regret it? I honestly don't know just yet. So this is Killian's Black Phantom. And <laughs> let me tell you something. This is strong, strong. So I got uh, this one over here, the way it comes right there. It does have the card from Killian 
and that's the way it looks. I know that some of them come in like a box with a key and all that good stuff, but I mean, I really don't know that. I'm smelling the card because I did spray the card with this actual fragrance. And um, <laughs> when I first got it, we were in the car and I sprayed the card and everyone in the car, my kids, my husband were like, what is that? They detested the smell of black they really didn't like the black, the black phantom, honestly. Um, they thought it just smelled awful, <laughs> completely awful. And now that's throwing me off because every time I smell it, that's what I think of. Um, my husband says it smells like an old man with bad breath. So I'm kind of indecisive. Do I like this? Am I trying to make myself enjoy it? Uh, I really do not know if it, if it's going to be a keeper. I love the bottle. The bottle is absolutely stunning. Look at that. Oh yes. It's really beautiful. I find his black bottles gorgeous. Um, but this scent is very strong. Like it's pretty potent. Like a tiny little spray goes a very long way. This is not a gourmand. This is not a crowd pleasing scent. This is definitely a daring fragrance for me. It is kind of in the realms of black orchid. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it type of deal. And it's not for everyone. It's quite potent. Black Phantom, I mean, it should tell you it's going to be a very deep, um, daring type of fragrance. Let me just spray that on the card. I should have just did one spray actually. Yeah, when I smell this, it smells very kind of woody, tobacco-y. It definitely leans more masculine to me. It's floral, like I do get some kind of floral notes in here. Let me pull up the notes actually. When I look up the main accords for Black Phantom, they sound incredible. Sweet, warm, spicy, caramel, coffee, chocolate, rum, woody, almond, powdery and vanilla. Like that is literally me in a bottle. And even the notes, there's dark chocolate, there's rum, there's caramel, there's coffee, sugar cane, almond, sandalwood, and heliotrope. When I smell this, I don't know, there's something in here. I think it's the heliotrope that's really kind of just throwing me off completely. Um, the opening to me smells very like manly. Like I get way more like woody kind of tobacco vibe. And then in the dry down is where I pick up more of those gourmandish notes. I don't get too much of that rum, but I definitely get more of the caramel and the dark chocolate in here. The coffee, not super predominant to me. I wish it was actually a lot more predominant, but the rum is really balanced off with that kind of vanilla note in there. So it's, it smells like a very rich, deep, uh, almost like boozy vanilla rather than just getting that rum note in here. It's, it's something that's throwing me off. Like the opening, I don't really enjoy the opening. The dry down, I enjoy it a lot more, but something in here just, isn't coming out of my head and it's kind of like blocking me from really understanding and loving this fragrance. So it's one that I have to play around with. I have to spray it on my skin, let it sit again and again, cause I have done that already. And still there is a note and I feel like it might be either the sugar cane and the heliotrope that is really kind of just throwing me off. So Black Phantom for me is a, I don't know just yet, I will definitely keep you guys updated on that fragrance and let you know if it was a keeper or I ended up just getting rid of it because I'm very, very, very indecisive. Okay, next up we have uh, my first fragrance from the house of Van Cliff and Air, Air Pulse, Air Pulse. <laughs> my box is completely dirty, so excuse 
use that. So that is the fragrance that I went ahead and got. Again, I got it from a website and it was just like an incredible price. I couldn't give it up. The bottles are stunning. I really, really enjoy the bottle. Let me just fix that over here. How pretty is that? Oh, that is so gorgeous. I'm going to try and link it down below. I do know that this particular scent has been sold out for a little bit. So hopefully I can find it and link it for you guys because this is one that I've already tested out and I love it. Okay. It is beautiful winter scent. Like I really, really love this one. This to me is really what a fall scent and winter scent is all about. That deepness, that richness, um, that smokiness. It is just Mmm, I really, really like it. You get the tonka bean in here right away. Like, I really pick up the tonka bean. It's a little sweet. Um, It's warm. It's vanilla. It's spicy. The notes are beautiful in here. There's vanilla. There's almond. There's tobacco. There's tonka bean. There's teakwood musk. There's even mineral notes, which is the first fragrance that I have with mineral notes. But it just smells so good and it's very wearable in this fragrance um i don't find the tobacco is heavy it's a really light tobacco note so if you're scared of tobacco do not be scared because this one is just like well rounded well balanced and i love wearing this scent it is very potent so you don't need to over spray this one the the atomizer is not my favorite it's very abrasive so you should do it really far from your skin Oh, yes, it's rich. It's spicy. Oh, that vanilla in there. You definitely, I would definitely consider this a vanilla kind of base fragrance because I still pick up the vanilla in this one in the dry down and it's just very creamy. Oh, yeah. The tonka bean in here is stunning. If you like tonka beans, you'll probably like this one. You have to like rich, deeper scents with an almondy uh, vibe to it also. I really love those kind of fragrances that are unique, that are potent, that are deep, but that are not overly complex to the point that it leaves you wondering what is the vibe that I'm going for, like Black Phantom. <laughs> This, I get the entire vibe. Like, oh, cozy, rich vibes. Has this very luxe element to it also. And I feel like it is very different um, from other fragrances that I have for the winter time. So it is kind of like on a league of its own. And I don't feel like everyone will be smelling like this one. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. Thank you so much for staying till the very end because I know this was probably a long one. Leave your comments down below and I will see you all on the next video. Ciao!